Hello, everybody. Welcome to our, our Zoom session that we have organized today with David Ham from uh, Mortgage Australia Group. And we have also got Jolly Dua, who is the mortgage specialist at the Finance Boutique. So I would let uh, David Ham uh, first of all introduce himself and probably tell us a little bit about Mortgage Australia Group. So welcome, yeah. David, to this um, Zoom info session. Thanks, Suman. Glad to have an opportunity to have a bit of a chat about what we do. Uh, essentially, Mortgage Australia Group is a company that I started about uh, 20, over 20 years ago now, and we are a full service mortgage broking company. Um, I started it myself as an individual mortgage broker, just working on my own. And since then, we've grown to be to have 150 sort of representatives around the country. Uh, we're currently uh, we've launched about 38,000 loans, more than 38,000 loans over the last 20 years. And we're, uh, I think, hitting, getting close to about $16 billion in, in total loans that we've submitted over that time. So I think a reasonably uh, substantial company that we've grown into. And that's just occurred naturally through the satisfaction of our clients coming to us consistently and the demand for our services um, in, in Australia. So, and uh, very happy to have Jolly as part of our team as well um, in, in recent times. The, um, I'm also the author of, of two books uh, about the broking industry, The 70 Steps to Mortgage Freedom, which is a, a book for consumers and to help them become mortgage free faster, and another more general book about the, the broking industry in Australia. Uh, that's excellent. So thank you, David, for giving us that introduction. I would like to now introduce Jolly Dua, who is the mortgage specialist at the Finance Boutique. So Jolly, can you please tell us what you do? Thanks, Simon. As uh, you mentioned, I'm a mortgage specialist at the Finance Boutique and a credit rep at Mortgage Australia Group with David. I help recent permanent residents buy the first home in Australia by securing the right home loan product to suit their needs. I can speak in English, Hindi and Punjabi, so feel free. Um, so buying your first home is exciting. However, the process can be quite overwhelming. This is where we come in. We support the buyers throughout the process step by step. I also want to state that there hasn't been a better time to enter the booming property market with record low interest rates and the government incentives available to the first home buyers. Okay, that's great, Jolly. Thank you. So I think the reason that we are doing this session is because as you guys know that I am in the in the migration industry and we help recent um, you know migrants or you know visitors here in Australia or international students get their permanent residency in Australia. So once they get the permanent residency, the next thing then that they want to do is the next goal that they have is to buy a home in Australia. And uh, that's why I actually wanted to introduce you guys to, you know, my existing um, client base and also to the new permanent residents who are maybe about to get their permanent residency or have recently got their permanent residency. So they all have this question. Uh, first of all, they want to know if there are any government grants that are available for somebody who have just what their permanent residency or is there any waiting period that they have to serve um, and what what is the process to buy the first home so if Joel if you can uh, give us some information about that please sure we can go through all these points one by one the, well by the way I should uh, mention that information I'm giving out today is generally nature and it it can vary from person to person and application to application the home buying process goes something like this you save for the house deposit and you check if you are eligible for any government incentives available to the first home buyers, find out how much you can qualify to borrow and how much you can afford to repay. A mortgage broker is certainly a person to go to um, if you need help. And then find a house to buy. Uh, look for the best home loan to suit your needs and make an offer to purchase the house. And then you go and get the finance approval and settle on your new home. That's it. So for our clients, we guide them on all these steps to turn their first home dream into reality. So what government grants are available to the first home buyers? So um, it's worth taking time to look at various grants that are available to you as a first home buyer. These can be national or at the state level. For example, the Queensland government will give you up to $15,000 if you're buying a new house or apartment. And there's some national schemes as well for first home buyers. Um, one of them is the first home loan deposit scheme. So this is available on new and existing properties. This is useful if you have less than 20% deposit available to buy a house. However, only 10,000 spots are made available each year. The second one is first home loan super saver scheme. 
State and territory grants are there as well. Uh, for example, first home owners grant, which is 15,000 in Queensland. Uh, there's a stamp duty in session that's also available uh, depending on the value of the property. And um, yeah, so there are some other uh, concessions from different states like New South Wales. Um, there's no stamp duty on vacant land up to $350,000 and concession between three fifty dollars to $400,000. So they are the programs available. Another question that I always get is how much deposit is needed. While putting a 20% deposit can improve your chances of getting approved and help you avoid lender's mortgage insurance and possibly secure a lower interest rate, you can actually buy with as little as 5 to 10% deposit in many cases. I don't know if you guys are aware, but you know how the government and the Department of Home Affairs have started giving out these temporary visas as well. So it's like a provisional permanent residency. So eventually they do get the permanent residency, but they have to be on this 491 or 494 visa for three years. So it's like a temporary visa. So what about these applicants? Because we do get a lot of applicants who want to purchase the home on this 491 visa. So can they apply for a home loan or if there is any extra cost associated with that? Yes, temporary residents are certainly eligible to purchase a house in Australia and they most of the times they are they can get the same interest rates as, as Australian citizens. In fact, with a stable job and a good deposit, they can potentially apply for some other discounts as well. So yeah, so extra cost for temporary residents is FIRB application cost, which is Foreign Investment Review Board. As an example, the approval fee is around $6,000 for a purchase of up to $1 million. There's also a foreign buyer's stamp duty surcharge that the Office of State Revenue charges. This surcharge can be up to 7% of the property value, depending on the state, and it can add a fair bit of extra cost to your purchase. If you're close to getting the PR, you may want to wait so you can avoid these costs. But if, you're, if your PR is still a few years away and you would like to come out of the rental cycle, then the option to buy your house, your own home is, is there for you and we can help. Okay. So the this home loan opportunity is still available for temporary visa holders as well if they wish to do so. Now, David, I would like to ask you, why do you think that applicants need to use a mortgage broker? Why can't they just go straight to the bank and get a loan directly from them? Yeah. When you go directly to a bank, the issue that you've got is that you're acting for yourself against this massive corporate entity that is invested in maximizing their profit at your expense. Mortgage brokers, we legally have to act in your best interests. So it's a very clear difference between dealing with the bank whose staff is legally required to maximize bank profits. Our job legally is to maximize how quickly you pay off the loan really, and that you're getting the right loan in the first place. And simply having that massive choice of lenders, so over 60 lenders, you're immediately 60 times more likely to get a better loan through a broker just through the choice that you have and the fact that we're acting in your best interest. Uh, the, the Australian Financial Complaints Authority statistics are that it's something like 0.6% of complaints about home loans relate to mortgage brokers. The other 99.4% relate to people who go directly to the bank to get their loan. So essentially, you're something like 200 times more likely to have a problem in your home loan if a broker is not involved. The client's outcome is our outcome as brokers, essentially. We're directly accountable to the client and we we live and die on the outcomes for our client. Okay, that's great, David. I think that's very informative. So basically these applicants, they all have full-time jobs. They have busy lives. It's just, they are just better off using a mortgage broker like yourself who can actually make the process easy for them because you know exactly what you need from them, like with the documents and everything. And I guess you can match them with the right bank depending on their situation as well. And of course, get them a really good deal. So that's really good. Um, Jolly, I do have one question for you. So with this new permanent residence or even the temporary residence, how can you help them to get into the property market like as quick as possible? Thanks, Suman, uh, for the question. I'm a migrant myself and I understand the value of owning your own home and making the great Australian dream a reality. How to find the right house, how to get approved for finance and what steps are involved. All those questions may seem daunting when you don't have support. This is where we come in. We help you throughout the home buying process. We take time to understand your needs and objectives, check your eligibility and borrowing capacity, advise you of the options you have, and find the right home loan to suit your needs. And stay with you until you settle on your new home and beyond. Um, so they get all these benefits and they don't pay anything extra? 
to use the services and on top of that um, you, you guys make sure that they do get a good deal as well from the bank so that's that's really really good so whoever is watching this video i would like to uh, encourage you to book a time to speak to jolly and see what your options are i think jolly you have a facebook page as well the finance boutique so we'll share the link to the facebook page as well in the description we will also put a booking link so that you can book a time directly to speak to jolly so the um, the consultations are absolutely free. It's an obligation free consultation to uh, assess your situation and see what uh, if you are eligible for a home loan and you know what kind of deposit and all the extra bits of information that you need. We are happy to provide that and I'm, I'm sure Jolly will be happy to assist you with um, any recent permanent residence or any temporary uh, residence as well if they wish to get a home loan. So thank you, Jolly. Thank you, David, for your time today.